In this video, I want to talk about graphing equations, so basically straight line equation uh, using uh, or plotting the points or the coordinates by from the equation. Okay, so let me write a simple equation. So we want to graph. So the question is graph uh, y is equal to say 2x plus 1. Okay, so the easiest way to graph is to find the x and the y coordinates. So I'll say this is x. This is the next column. Column of y is equal to y is equal to 2x plus 1. And I'll make the third column. I'll call that coordinates. Coordinate or coordinates. Okay. So now in coordinates you can take any value of x okay so this equation is telling me that there is a relation y is related to x by this equation so let's take any number so let me change color say let's start at say negative 3 so what is the equation y is equal to 2 times x plus 1 so let me write this down so this is 2 times negative 3 plus 1. So you can use a calculator. Uh, this is negative 6 plus 1, which is negative 5. So the coordinate is negative 3, comma, negative 5. Okay, so let me take the next number. Suppose if you take uh, negative 1. Okay, so this is 2 times negative 1 plus 1. This is negative 2 plus 1 is negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So here the coordinate is negative 1 comma negative 1. Now what's the coordinate telling me? That when x is negative 3, y is negative 5. When x is negative 1, y is negative 1. So let's take 0 now. Okay, so 0 would be 2 times 0 plus 1. 2 times 0 is 2. No, it is 0. 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. So when x is 0, y is 1. Let us take one more. So let's say, let's say it is 3. Okay, you can take any number. Okay, so let's take 1.5. Okay, just for change. Uh, or let's take 2.5. 2.5. So 2 times 2.5 plus 1. So 2 times 2.5 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So when x is 2.5, y is 6. So let's plot these points. Okay. So the first point is, this is negative 3. So always go across first. You go negative 3 and then you go negative 5. So this is negative 3, negative 5. So this is the first coordinate. Okay, the next point is negative 1. So you first always start at the origin. You go to negative 1, and then you go to negative 1 on the y-axis. Okay, the next point is 0, 1. When x is 0, y is 1. So this is this point. The next point is when x is 2.5. So this is 2.5. Okay, this is 2.5. It is 6. 2.5. 6 would come somewhere here. Okay, 2.5 comma 6. So this point is, now if you use a ruler, okay, so let me use, okay, I'll use a line 2. If you use a ruler, so you can join these points and it will be a straight line, okay. Now you, mathematically you have to draw an arrow to both sides of the line because it's a line, because this line will go to infinity on both sides so this arrow indicates that this line is going on for ever so and we write the equation of the line so you can write the equation of the line is y is equal to 2x plus 1 just like that okay so let's move on to the next graph so suppose if it is graph graph y is equal to 
half x half x plus 1. So again the same thing x y y is half x plus 1 is your y and then we'll write the coordinates. Okay. Coordinates. Okay. So let's start with some negative numbers. Say let's take uh, negative 2. So I will do it directly now with this is, okay, let me do half of negative 2 is half of negative 2 is negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. So when x is negative 2, your y is 0. So let's take uh, negative 1. Half of negative 1 is negative half plus 1. Uh, so let me write negative half, half of, half of 1 is negative half plus 1. You can use a calculator. So 1, this is negative half plus 1 is half. So when x is 1 or negative 1, y is half. So it's difficult to plot half. So yeah, but you can plot half, but if suppose it's a uh, decimal number, it's, it's difficult to plot. Suppose if it is 0 0.3, it's difficult to plot 0 0.3 or 0 0.4. So you should avoid coordinates which has decimals. Okay, so let me take 2 now. If you take 2, half of 2 is 1, so it's 1 plus 1, which is 2. So when x is 2, y is 2. So I am not taking 3 because I know if I take 3, I'm getting, going to get a half. So I'm going to take even numbers. So you can halve even numbers easily. So half of 4 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. So when x is 4, y is 3. So let's plot these points. When x is negative 2, this number always tells you across. So from 0, you're going negative 2 and 0 up. That means you're not going up. So this is your point. The next is negative 1, negative 1, you go negative 1 to the left, negative 1, negative 1 means you're going to the left and you're going half up, so this is half between 0 and 1. When x is 2, so you're going to the right and you're going up 2. So also coordinates can be understood as this 2 means you're going 2 to the right from origin and then you go 2 up. This means from origin you go 4 to the right and 3 up. So this is this point. And 3 or 4 points is enough to determine the type of graph. And then if you join them, it will be a straight line. Okay, so this is the equation. So the equation of this line is y is equal to half x, half x plus 1. Okay, so let's move on. So let me uh, say write, suppose with a negative number. So y is equal to negative, say, 3x plus 2. Okay, so what happens now? So this is x, y, y is equal to negative 3x plus 2. And then the coordinate, I'll write only C, C for coordinate. So let's start with, say, negative 2. Okay. So negative 3 times negative 2 plus 2. So let me use a calculator. It's always good to check. So it's negative 3 times <coughs> x is negative. Negative 3 times negative 2 plus 2, which is 8. Okay. So this is 8. So the coordinate is negative 2, comma 8. Let's take negative 1. <clears throat> so negative 3 times negative 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. So I'm writing directly. You can use a calculator. So negative 1, comma 5. Negative 1, comma, comma 5. When if you take 0, 0 times anything is 0, so that's going to be 2, so this is 0, 2. I think you can do it faster now. If you take 1, it's negative 3 plus 2, which is negative 1. Am I right? 
yeah negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 so when x is 1 y is negative 1 y is negative 1 I think this is enough to graph the line so let's graph the points negative 2 comma 8 so I can't plot this so I can I'm crossing this out okay you don't need all the points okay so this is not graphic graphable in this grid okay so that doesn't matter okay the next is negative 1 you go 1 to the left and 5 up so this is this point the next point is you you don't go to the right or left zero means you're not going to the right or left and then you're just going to up negative you one you're going one to the right and one down one to the right and one down three points is enough so let me take one more point just so let me take say two so this is negative six plus two which would be four negative four sorry negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4 when x is 2 y is negative 4 so the point is 2 comma negative 4 okay and then draw the line just like that and I want you to think what's happening why is this li line uh, going down okay how is what's the relation between this negative 3 and the, sh the type of the line. The line is going down. That means from left to right, if you look from left to right, it's going down. Okay, so we'll, we call this line as going down. Now if you look from right to left, it's going up. So we are looking from left to right. So from left to right, it's going down. Okay. So if you go to the previous graph, from left to right, it is going up. In the previous graph, again from left to right, it's going up. So I want you to just look at the graph and see whether there is a relation between this, how you can graph this. Is Can you see this 2 in this graph and this 1 in this graph? And how these numbers affect the shape of the graph? Okay, so you look at this graph and see why it's going up from left to right. So now, for just for practice, I want you to graph these equations yourself by plotting the points so y is equal to say half or negative half x plus 3 this is one equation the second equation is y is equal to uh, negative 2 or so let me write it positive 2 thirds so it's 2 thirds of x minus 1 okay so let me write one more graph this y is equal to negative 3 quarter negative 3 quarter x plus uh, 5 now in these now it will be good if you want to plot get neat points it'll be good if you plot if you take x values which are even numbers here are the multiples of 2. Here it will be a good idea to take x's which are multiples of 3 because you can get need coordinates. And here it will be a good idea to take coordinates in multiples of 